Hi friends, it's Emma from Emma K Plans and welcome back to a somewhat exciting, well I feel like it's exciting, it's exciting for me video. So this is going to be my updated um, planner sticker storage I guess. I was going to break this down into like separate um, videos like kits, foil, um, characters etc but I really don't think this is actually going to take too long. So I think I'm going to join it all together and just do one 2023 kit, no, 2023 planner storage video and have everything in one. So this is how I'm going into 2023 storing my planner stuff. I've just overhauled this all. Um, you can probably find the old videos on my channel of how I used to store it, but essentially they were in the... Um, I've got them next to me because I haven't had a chance to throw them out yet. Um, like big binders with the sheets in them, um, like the couponing sheets, which to be honest, that worked for me for a good probably five years. Like I really, I that was the right thing for me. But um, since then I have moved on and my stash has gotten bigger. Things have changed. My planning space has changed as well. Um, and I just don't want the look of the big bulky like binders everywhere. Um, so I've uh, transitioned into these acrylic trays. Um, for anyone in Australia, if you're interested, mine are literally from Kmart and they cost like, I reckon $5. Um, so nothing really exciting there. Um, and then I kind of hacked my own dividers from um, these. I went and bought like 20 of these and cut the front and the back cover off and use those as my dividers. So it's not like the most professional job you've ever seen, but for me, it works perfectly. So um, going into kids first, um, I'll kind of insert a photo of how this looks front on because I know this angle is a bit weird, but I don't really know how else to do it. <laughs> so um, first of all, I've got my kits in season. So summer, um, these are the overstock kits of summer that aren't in my, actually I probably should show that first. So my, what's it called? Upcoming kits, like once I filmed a lineup and that sort of thing, go in here. This is a print pression. I don't know what it's called. Planner Keeper. And I keep all of my upcoming kits and foils in here. So this won't be a surprise because you've already seen my lineup video. I think that's the last one I showed. So that's that's where they go, right? And then anything that's not in there, so it doesn't have a designated home as yet, goes in this big tray. So... As the next season in my life is summer, well, like the current season, I guess, summer is at the front. When summer is done, I will move summer on to the back. So, I'm just going to quickly flip through the kits um, because I do have a lot of them and that's not really the point of this video. It, it kind of is a kit collection video so you can see what kits I have, but that's not the whole point. <coughs> so, I've got... Cinco de Mayo from Pink Diamond Planner Co. I've got Groovy. Um, also, I keep any like specific. Um, so I keep any underlays that I've got in to go with the kit, and any specific foil bundles. So um, I don't keep a lot of foil bundles in here because what if I need them for another kit? But like for example, I'm probably not going to use purple hollow stars with anything else except this so I'm happy to keep it in here we've got groovy by glam planner and then the underlays we've got um, Bali by happy stickers and then the foil bundle may mystery from SPC and the foil bundle and then um, sunset by pink diamond and the underlays so Unfortunately, these kits, for example, are probably not going to get used this year um, because I already have done my summer lineup and I just can't fit these in. So these will go into the summer section for next year or for de-stashing or maybe to move into spring, but um, for now they get put into summer. Then I have autumn and I have like that many autumn <laughs> kits. It's I mean, it makes sense because autumn is my next season to plan, so I should have the most autumn kits, but um, I feel like I have a lot. I, have, I feel like I have a lot of caress press here, so um, I've got a couple from last year and then also ones from, like, this past year. So I've got Chris from caress press. I've got 
the July Mystery 2021 from SPC and again like this I've got so many bonfire foil bundles that I'm okay keeping them together I've got the underlays I bought for this kit I've got October Mystery from Pink Diamond and then the underlays I bought the August Mystery from Caress Press the January 2022 Mystery and they're stuck from Pink Diamond I've got Campfire from SPC and the foil bundle. Rainy Day from Pink Diamond and the foil. Oak Ave from uh, Caress Press and the foil. This actually I need because I found, well now we're up here. I was going through my leftover stuff before I threw out my binders and I found this. So that's exciting. I knew I had to put it in there. <laughs> So, that works out well. So I've got Maple from Caress Press. I've got Pumpkin Patch from Happy Stickers. I've got Lake House from Glam Planner. Apple Orchard from Glam Planner. September Mystery from Pink Diamond. And Harvest from Caress Press. So, I don't need another autumn kit. <laughs> I am fully fucking stacked, honestly. That is crazy. Um, but yeah, autumn is my next season to plan, so that's why autumn is full um, now. Like, obviously, all these winter kits are coming out, so winter is starting to fill. It obviously is nowhere near autumn, but um, that's what's going to fill next. So I've got September Mystery from SPC. I didn't use this last year. Same with October. Um, if I don't use these this year, they're going to go in the D-Stash bin, which I'll show you at the end. I've got Red Riding Hood from Glam Planner, October Mystery from Caress Press, Noelle from Caress Press, and October Mystery from Pink Diamond. So again, my winter seat, um, section is currently what is growing because that those are the kits that are coming out currently. Then I've got spring. I definitely have more leftover spring kits from this past year than I would like. Um, ideally, I would only be left with like one or two kits at the end of a season, but um, I've got a few more than that. So I've got, because obviously spring just finished for me. Spring is September to November and it's currently December. So these are like five kits that I'm going to be holding on to, which I'm not super happy with, but um, yeah. So I've got... The like plant mum mystery. I've got this, which is technically a St. Patrick's Day themed, but I wanted to use it um, in spring. But then I went to use it in spring, and I feel like it's too St. Patrick's Day themed. So I think I'm gonna move this into holidays actually. Then we've got this. Um, it's like technically a Mother's Day kit, and for me, Mother's Day is in autumn, so maybe I'll move it. I've got this kit, which came really late, um, but I also don't love it from Glam Planner, and then this kit from Planet Fancy. So, okay, maybe if I put those in the holidays, <laughs> I won't feel as bad. So that's my seasonal section. And then next is Anytime, which is always hefty because I feel like a lot of mystery kits are often Anytime, and I don't tend to use Anytime because I have so many seasonal kits. So, um, yeah. Uh, so first of all, I've got March Mystery from Pink Diamond, which is drive-in movie theatre themed. Obsessed with this. I've got the bowling art from Darcy from Apple Blossom Pl Prints. Perfect game. I've got the foodie kit from SPC. Candyland from SPC. Twilight from SPC. July Mystery from Pink Diamond. Jurassic Park from SPC. Sick Day from Glam Planner. Coffee Shop from SPC. I'm actually going to put this in winter because that's when I want to use this kit. I've got um, Aura from Apple Blossom. I've got Creme from Planet Fancy. Theatre from Apple Blossom. If this doesn't get used this year, it's going in the D-Stash. I'm sick of it. Has to Home from SPC. April Mystery from Pink Diamond. And then Park Hopper from SPC. So a lot of these kits I really don't see uses for, but I just hang on to them because I don't know when to get rid of them. Um, I feel like I could probably... Let me order them, actually. 
as in like what I'm most likely to use. Alright, so if anyone wants any of these kits, honestly, you can probably have them. Just comment down below. Along with anything I show you in the D stash pile, but I'm not going to move those officially yet, but if you want them, message me and you can have them. So that's any time I rarely pull from that, which is frustrating because I have so many of them, but it's just the way that it is. Um, then I've got holidays, so I'm just going to line up. I'm um, adding those extra kits. And I keep these in um, yearly order. So I've got St. Patrick's Day, because that's obviously March. I've got Easter, because that's March, April from Caress Press. I've got Mother's Day. Did I say Mother's Day? No. I've got Mother's Day from Pink Diamond. I've got Mother's Day from Glam Planner. I've got Thanksgiving from SPC. And then I've got Christmas from Caress Press. Um, I really don't like to bring across Christmas, uh, sorry, holiday kits across multiple years, but often it just happens that way. You just can't fit them in. Um, the Mother's Day kits are more so like, I don't know like when, what year I would use them, but definitely like the Christmas, I don't like to bring that across. Thanksgiving, I don't like to bring across either, but I only did because I bought this and then, then literally the next day found out I was going to Disney that week. And then this one, as I mentioned, um, I tried to use it in spring and it just didn't work. So we are going to use it instead for St. Patrick's Day this year. Well, next year, because my birthday and St. Patrick's Day are often on the same week. But next year, they are not. So it's the year to use them. Then I've got birthday. So um, as the name suggests, any like birthday slash celebration kits. So I've got the... Um, Level Up 2.0 kit, which I really want to use for my birthday, but there's so many good birthday kits, so I'm probably going to save this one. I've got this birthday kit, which is perfect for like a spring-summer birthday um, from Caress Press. My trusty SPC planner party kits, which if you know, I will never ever use these. These are like a hoard thing. This is most likely going to be my birthday kit this year, even though it's like so childish. Um, I've got some really cool foil coming from Alicia Craft, so. And then this black and white, just kind of generic kit as well from SPC. So that's birthday. And then next is baby. Um, so I've got a few baby kits. Um, as you all know, I hate children, so. Not, probably not for me, um, but for anyone in my life. Um, this is like my favourite all time baby kit and I honestly would love to use it for my best friend who's about to have her first baby. But I really want to use the Pooh Bear kit because her baby shower was Pooh Bear and I didn't get to go. So maybe I'll, maybe when she has her second baby. Then I've got this one from SPC Glam Planner. I feel like I will save this in case the fucking universe changed and I ever had a kid. This is the kit I'd want to use. And then I've got two more just generic baby kits from Glam Planner. So I probably have more baby kits than I honestly need because I don't know that many people who are at that stage in their life. Then I have travel, so this does include Disney and actually looking at these, most of these are Disney. Um, so I've got the Disney Cruise kit because I'm going on a Disney Cruise at the end of next year. Um, so that's so exciting. I've got Magical 50th, which um, I'm saving for when I go to Disney World. It doesn't have to be the 50th, like I, that doesn't bother me, but it does need to be Disney World. So I've got that. I've got Batu Bound, which I need to use soon because I love it. New York and Egypt. So that's travel slash Disney. Then I've got love, which is also in kind of like weddings, anniversaries, that sort of thing. So I do have this wedding kit and this old anniversary kit from Sticky Essentials. And then that's it for like the main kits. And then I have D stash and these are not nearly as organized. So again, if you want any of these, please tell me and you're welcome to have them. I've got the glam planner, Sailor Moon Mystery, this stinkingly old kit from SPC, uh, this Disney kit from Glam Planner, this cruise kit from Glam Planner, uh, we've got this spring kit but it does have the underlays already uh, overlays already laid down, oops I think I took a page, I did, 
This kit from SPC, I, I liked this art at the time, but I just never got to use it, and now I don't like the art anymore. I just took a page again. Um, <clears throat> lake house themed, that doesn't really exist here in Australia. This like summer themed kit. Um, Moana from Glam Planner. Caress Press. Oh, these are my spare things as well. This kit, which I actually love this kit and I love like the colours and stuff, but it's premium matte, so fuck that. This kit, which I really love too, I just, now that I have a spare Thanksgiving kit already, I just, actually, you know what? I'm going to keep it. I love this kit too much to get rid of. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. Actually, I need to put it in a thing. Oopsie. Okay, I'll come back to that. We've got this Christmas kit, which I like the art. I just don't see myself using it now that it's a few years old. We've got ice cream. We've got anniversary. We've got cleaning. We've got kitchen. We've got pumpkins. This autumn kit. We've got all these monthly kits. If you need some monthly kits, please let me know. I have heaps of them and I don't use them. We've got this Cyber Monday mystery from last year. I like this kit. It just... I'm never going to use it. This old school camping kit. And then some... Like, I just have heat. If you want... If you know someone who needs to get started on planning or if you want stickers to give to your kid or something, I don't know. I've got heaps. <laughs> so let me know. You can have them because honestly, I don't use them. So that goes at the back in my D-Stash section. Um, and yeah, that is my kit storage. So I really am trying to buy less and less like kits so I don't end up with heaps that I don't use. But you all know how hard it is. Next, we're going to go into foil. So this is the one I've been talking about for ages. Um, of like how I've redone my foil storage. It's really nothing groundbreaking. And it's probably going to look messy to a lot of people, honestly. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is all of my foil. So what I have is it just separated into foil colours. I've got the um, core for... Core 5 foils at the front, and then it goes into like more niche foils at the back. So, if you go into a section, you literally pull out a wad of foil that looks like this. To me, this is organized and it makes sense. To other people, I fully get that it's not. So, the system is headers on the front, then we go into full boxes. So, this could be freebies, it could be quote boxes, it could be deco bits that I would use on full boxes, it could be random old sheets, sheets from the old SPC format, or it could be sheets from the new SPC format. It really does not discriminate. So we've got Lux, we've got Celestial, we've got Dragonfly, we have Leaves, so there's heaps of different We've got seashells, and then, so that's, that's full box overlays, so when I'm putting together a spread, I will go through and pick out what I want to use, and I mix and match heaps of different things together, which is why I came up with this concept, because I didn't want to use a whole spread of Lux, or I didn't want to use a whole spread of Celestial, I wanted to, for example, like I could use Celestial, I could pull in some stars, and then I could also pull in some of these things from Sticker Guru, and like that's my Celestial spread, so that's the concept, and then from there we go into Bottom Washi, so again... I go in and pick, okay, so I want to use stars from here and I want to pull in the celestial bottom washi. Or I want to use, okay, I want to use leaves and I also want to use a dragonfly. So all, I pull everything apart. Like this one, I've got a leftover palm tree, so I keep that in there. Then I have um, icons, deco bits and scripts. So, okay, so I'm using gold this week. I'm going to go in and pull out these circle icons. I'm going to use these date covers and then let me grab a script sampler. Or I'll just pull out like one of these pages. You can see I've got heaps of like kind of half used ones. And then I finish off with choosing my underlays slash 
bougie boxes. <laughs> so I've got the old school like half page ones here and then the ones out of the foil bundle here. And then any I have from Planner Hannah that are not assigned a kit there. So that's what that looks like. And I have that for all of my foil colours. So I'll kind of skip a few. So that's gold. Then I've, I go into silver, same thing, hollow, sparkly hollow rose. And then I go into some of the more niche colours. So I'll show you black because I don't have much black, for example. So black, I literally have one foil bundle and that's really it. Because I'm I just don't have much black. So I've got I've got a page of sparkle, a page of stars, I've got sparkle bottom washi, I've got star bottom washi, and then I've got some black icons a black label sampler and then this black sheet of underlays from Planner Hannah. So same concept but I've got much less of it um, so it obviously doesn't look that big. Um, then I go into rainbow, matte bronze, gold hollow, champagne lights, red. Let me show you red, I've got quite a bit of red. Um, the other side. So Again, so we've got full box overlays because I don't have any headers in red, so that's why there's no headers on the front. So we've got double box overlays, tall boxes, these quotes from Happy Sticker Designs. Also, this is red and sparkly red. Majority of what I have is sparkly red, but like this, for example, is red and it's in there as well. I've got this old heart format from SPC. I've got a lot of these. I need to use some of these. I've got the new heart format. I've got the Christmas format from Caress Press. I've got the star format. I've got a lot of star format. And then we go into bottom washi. So I've got stars, stars, hearts, Christmas, hearts, hearts, stars. And then I've got icons, scripts, deco bits, that sort of thing. And then into underlays. So it's pretty straightforward. It's like I'm not trying to say I am doing anything super groundbreaking by any means. But I just wanted to show you that I have changed up my shit quite a bit. So um, that's what it looks like. And then just going in through the foil colours that I've got. So I've got Bonfire, Pink Hollow, Hot Pink, Lavender Hollow, Matte Gold, Matte Silver and Gold, Pink, Blue, Sparkly Pink, Blue Hollow, Green, Orange Sparkle, Bronze, Periwinkle, Copper, Champagne Gold, and then that's it at this stage. Um, all I have on my little dividers is like I literally took a piece of sticker paper and that's my um <laughs> that holds them in as well that bottle at the back. Um, oh like see this one this is rose it's already come off on my finger so if I change foil color or if I run out I literally just peel the sticker off and put something else on. And this is super easy to me to know like okay this week I'm using matte bronze cool let's go into matte bronze pick out the pile and create my own bundle. So that's pretty much it. As I said, it's very straightforward, nothing groundbreaking, but um, this is how I want to organize my foil from now on. And then let's go into characters and foil, which look, honestly looks very similar. It's the same concept. It's just in a thinner binder, uh, a thinner acrylic tray, sorry. So I've got the same plastic, um, what are they called? dividers and then I've just got my character stickers in here so in the front I've got samplers so these can be from SPC or Carly Plans um, I've got a lot of these I kind of went through and threw out all the samplers that I just don't use and kept the ones that are useful then next I go into work so work is literally like all of my work scripts including like when I'm at work, I'm bored, I'm busy, I have a meeting and I'm so busy. And then my planes, which I use to mark work, and my laptops as well. And then it goes into seasonal, so I've got um, summer... Oops, I put them in the wrong spot. Work, there we go. 
So summer, autumn, you know what these look like, I don't need to show you. Winter, spring, and then I've got birthday, so happy birthday or like my birthday, that sort of thing. I've got holidays, which are in order again. So I've got Easter, actually I don't think they're in order, I tell you a lie. So I've got, I think Valentine's is at the back, it is. And St. Patrick's, so Valentine's, St. Patrick's, that's Valentine's. Sorry, I meant to do this the other day. So I've got Valentine's, 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 St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Easter, Easter. And then the holidays towards the end of the year, which is like the ones that I use a lot of, I have separately. So I've got Halloween, um, and I've got Christmas. Christmas I'm currently using because I'm planning the week of Christmas, so that's out. Um, then we go into emotions, so I've got happy, and that's literally like anything generally positive emotions is happy. And then sad, angry is in the back here. So I've got always put scripts in the front and then characters in the back. And the idea is, okay, I need a, a sad script. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to flip through and I'm going to see everything that I have and make the decision from there. Uh, sick. Then we go into drinks, which is like Starbucks, juice, hot chocolate, coffee, anything like that. And then alcohol slash drunk is like separate. Then I've got food. Um, so literally like anything that is food related as it sounds. But then I've got cooking separately. So food and cooking are different things. Um, meal prep, cooking, etc. Then I go into sleep because like these are the ones that I use the most. So like tired, sleep in, anything like that. And then I've got relax. So I used to have relax and self care in two different sections, but I realized that I was kind of like bath was in both, for example. So I decided to put them together because I really wasn't going to the self care section. Um, so, but they make sense to me as like one category. Then I've got Troy, so literally anything like custom script, couple related, um, couple here with hubs, that sort of thing. Friends, so any, I've got custom scripts of some friends. I've got FaceTime and then I've got some actual friend stickers. Then family, so in family I've got like my brother family movie night, but then I also have like baby stuff, um, which... Like, I don't, I don't know where else to put it. I'm not making a baby category because I don't need it. So I put it in family. And then I have Nera, which is my cat. Um, so, like, custom scripts. Um, oh, I've got dinosaurs in. Oh, that's right, because I had an animal section. Um, Nera. And then I also have my, like, stuffed animal dog um, stickers in here as well. Um, I don't... Actually, I don't know where I'll put those. Games. So, Pokemon, Animal Crossing, that sort of thing um, in here. Then I've got read slash listen, which is essentially like reading, podcasts, TikTok, that sort of thing. I've got plan, which is as the name suggests, that's literally like planning. I've got watch, which I have to put this back. So this is a Jurassic Park movie sampler. I've got Yellowstone. I've got like plan with me binge, Netflix binge, movie night, etc. And I'm also going to put these dinosaurs in there because I use them to watch, to mark when I watch Jurassic Park. This is like come off. So this is not like a long term divider solution. It's just I don't know what else to do with at the moment. We've got tidy up slash clean. So heaps of stuff in that one. I've got shopping. So that's in store and online. I've got socials, which probably needs to come a little bit further forward, to be honest, because I use this one a bit more than some of the others. Beauty, so like nail salon, makeup, eyelashes, that sort of thing. It also encounter, uh, encompasses like appointments, like doctors and dentists. Sport, so workout, fitness, sport, that sort of thing. Groceries, so that's like HelloFresh and also groceries. Money, so payday, money, that bills, that sort of thing. Happy mail, quite obvious. Travel, which is anything like generic travel related. And then I have Disney, so that's Disney travel and Disney movies in one. And then I just have a sampling of scripts like that I get like in as freebies or that sort of thing. And then a couple of empty dividers in the back for if I need to make new categories. And that is my 
storage. That's actually everything. That's how I store all of my planner stuff these days. I know that was kind of quick, but I didn't really want to ramble. So hopefully that gives you a good overview. If you have any questions, please let me know. But otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.